Okay. Um, today we'll be talking about breast cancer. So whenever you hear the word cancer, how do you feel? How does that word make you feel? Personally, it sends cold chills down my spine. I don't like mm. hearing the word cancer. <laughs> well, but as a woman, how do you feel when you hear the word cancer, especially breast cancer? Do you feel okay? Does it send cold chills down your spine? Do you have adequate knowledge about cancer? Breast cancer, rather. Are there symptoms or signs of breast cancer you should look out for? Are there treatment options available for breast cancer patients? How can you help yourself and people around you manage or prevent breast cancer? Then as a man who has a wife and who has a mother, sister, female friends, and all of that, do you have knowledge about breast cancer so as to educate the people around you? Well, these and some other questions is what Dr. Obi, who is in the studio with me, will be answering. <laughs> Beautiful Dr. Obi, good, good morning. morning. <laughs> good morning. All right, today uh, being Saturday, the 26th day of November, we have chosen breast cancer as a topic. And there's a reason for that, because people need to be aware. People need to be aware of breast cancer and yeah. how to check breast cancer. Mm -hmm. All right, if you want to join us via YouTube, do that on Voice of the People 90.3 FM. That's our YouTube channel. You can also go to the website and join us at voiceofthepeople.ng. Mm -hmm. All right, Dr. Obi, you're welcome to the studio. Thank you for having me again. All right, all yeah. right. So to start with, to start with, I'd like to ask this question, what is breast cancer? Um, I know you have so many terminologies, so many terms you'd yeah. like to use, but please, you know, as usual, Layman we'll break term. it down. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. All right. So yeah, everybody, of course, breast cancer, as the word entails, is the cancer in the breast. Now, um, breast cancer is mostly common with women and is one of the most common cancer worldwide. That is second to lung cancer. Okay. Now, um, I wouldn't say breast cancer is commonly seen um, with women alone. Like of, also it occurs with men, but um, it's very, very rare for you to see men with breast cancer. Now, um, I'm actually very happy because um, in Nigeria, we've really, really tried in order to make sure that there are a lot of breast awareness breast cancer awareness everywhere for um people to actually um have that knowledge or know what exactly you are to look for to, to know if you have a breast cancer and um it's usually common um with women um of the age bracket from their 50s and above but of recent um epidemiology it is mostly as has seemed to be with women um in the age of 30 and why so is because of their um risk factors and all now the question everyone asks themselves is how would i know if i have a breast cancer now not every lump in your breast means it's cancerous that's something everyone has to put in order for them to remove that anxiety from them so if you're doing a self breast um, examination at home or in the shower and you feel that you have lumps don't get scared immediately you have to see a doctor first that will make a further evaluation that you have a breast cancer so what are the common signs and symptoms Before we get the yeah. common signs and symptoms yeah. Dr. Obi, you talked about um, checking your breast yes. to, to know if you have any lumps yes. because not all lumps are cancerous. Yeah, exactly. all right. So how do we do this check? Okay. I know this is a radio, but mm -hmm. some people are watching us via our YouTube channel. Uh, yeah. So you can actually explain yes. if you need um, if you need to use your hands, uh, yeah, please do definitely. use your hands. <laughs> yes, I'm, gonna, right. I'm definitely going to do all that. Right. So how do we okay. check? So basically, um, I always tell my patient that there are ways at which you can find out and there are really during your free time. It could be when you're lying down. When one is lying down, the lump is actually free. So basically, you can put your hands above your your head like while lying down exactly, okay. and your then two take hands. Okay, yeah, one, one hand. All if right. you're going to if you're going to check your um left breast, you um your left breast, you, um you use your right hand to check it. So your left hand is above All right. your at the like back this. of your head okay. exactly. Then you take then. your right hand and then make sure it's your palm or your three digits finger, right. and then you examine. What it does by raising that your hand is to stretch the muzzle right. and if there is any form of lung, you'll be able to target it. Now, your breast already has gland. So every woman will know that there's a gland. 
but touching it you will see that there is a kind of almond shape or irregular shape lump that you feel a mass i'm like, like this is oil yes okay but it's inside yes you feel it like ah, this is this is unusual that my normal glands that's in my breast okay so that's how you do it. also in the shower when you have soap in your hand that's very good when you have soap because you'll be able to feel it very well and you do the same um method and then use to examine your breast for any lumps yeah the idea of this breast self-examination is to make women to understand their breasts and know when there is a change so when you're bored you can actually kind of try to do that especially those that have risk um risk underlying risk factors okay now let's talk about the risk factors yes so mostly the risk factors people are at risk of getting breast cancer are people that have family history if your mom your auntie or your sister has had um breast um cancer it's very important for you to actually do um breast self-examination and of of course you have to go to the hospital the doctor will have to give you like routine checkup and everything to come and sometimes they actually give them a specific um medication especially with those that have higher risk in order to um prevent um the growing of the the lump, lump. yes so the earlier detection, the faster and the better management. Yeah. All right. Um, you, you, you're hearing it from Dr. B yeah. directly. All right. At this point, I'd like to open up the phone line. So if you have any questions about breast cancer, because it's not just about women, men can actually benefit because you can educate your sisters. You can educate your female friends. You can educate your mother. You can educate your wife. So. If you have any questions concerning mm -hmm. breast cancer, do well to call us on 0700-903-903-903. 0700-903-903-903. All right, um, Dr. B, yeah. talking about a regular checkup, how often should one check for breast cancer? Yeah, so basically, if you don't have risk, like, and you just want to be checking your, so sometime maybe after six months, you can just like, okay, I just feel like, depending on your age, if you're in your mid, mid age, like around 50 or late 40s and all, you're like, okay, let me just go and do a, a mammogram and just check my um, breasts if there is any form of lumps and all. And, but mostly breast self-examination at home is more ideal just to avoid you just always going to the hospital or having anxiety that, ah, I might have breast cancer. Let me always be going to do a mammogram. It's not ideal, okay? So if you have the risk factor that you have family history that in my family we have breast cancer, then of course this is actually useful for you to always go. I've maybe after six months you just go and check and all, and immediately you feel any lump, you have to go to the hospital immediately so that they can start any prophylactic measures to prevent it going to be way serious yeah all right before now you wanted to talk about the signs the yes. symptoms of breast yeah. cancer all right let's talk about the signs and symptoms so yes uh, the signs and symptoms of breast cancer is the first thing of course detecting that there's a mass in your breast and usually the way um cancerous um lump tends to appear it's always attached to the skin and it's not moving you notice that it's not even moving and you notice that it has like a form of irregular shape it's very right. rare for you, you continue, yeah let's take this question from this caller okay hello good morning to you yeah good morning beautiful morning what's your name and where are you calling us from my name is ken and i'm a man all from right mm -hmm. all man right all name. right all right ken please ask your question yes my question is um this thing we are talking about is it prevent is it preventable apart from maybe hereditary is it what cause is, is, have, have you been able to know what causes it because it's like sometimes it's very rampant by nature of my job not a doctor but i see a lot of women with this issue so is it preventable is this something that maybe careless living brings about or a diet or whatever all right, all okay. right. Thank you, thank you. Um, Dr. V will answer your question. Yes, yes. Thank you, Ken. Thank you for that really um, amazing question. Yeah. Um, for breast cancer, right, aside from having risk factors that you have family history, okay, um, there are other ways which is not always common at which one can actually get a breast cancer. Sometimes it's seen with um, people that start their menstrual period 
um, quite early before the age of 12. Um, people that, let me say, you give birth to a child um, prematurely, um, people that have that have their first full-term pregnancy um, bef- um, at the age of like their late 30s and so on. But those things is not specific that, oh, I'm going to have breast cancer. No. Okay. Now, in terms of prevention, like I said, early detection of these um, breast um, lumps is early management so usually we give drugs especially if you're at risk we know that okay if we, if we find out that this thing is a breast cancer we give drugs and in order for it not to spread to isolate it and prevent it growing more than it is you get and prevent complications so i wouldn't say um oh yes i've i have um cancer and uh, yeah, i can prevent it or something you can actually try to um um detect it know your status in your family and yes with time because it's not everybody that has family history of breast cancer that actually will have breast cancer so once you know that okay this is going on in my family then with follow up in the hospital everything can be fine yeah all right i hope ken <laughs> yes i hope i hope he, you yeah. have answered ken's question yeah. all right i'm still talking about the symptoms yes. of breast cancer yeah, so those, for, the, for the time, signs and symptoms of breast cancer, first of all, detected that there is a lump. All right, sorry about yeah. that. Let's take this call. Hello, good morning to you. Hello, good morning. Beautiful morning to you. What's in the and where are you calling us from? This is Eric from Alba. All right, Eric, let's hear your question. Good morning, Dr. P. Good morning. Please, uh, I, just joined, I just joined now, so I want to know, Concerning this uh, breast cancer, what are the causes that that can easily lead to it? Is it uh, something of lifestyle, or are there some foods that can food that one can be eating, and the table will have a high chance of uh, having this breast cancer? Okay. Can you throw more light on it, please? Thank yeah. you. All right. Thank you very much, Eric. Doctor B will answer your question. Yeah. So um, for that, what are the causes? Okay, we, it's not really pinned in on like a particular cause that can bring breast cancer because I've been seeing a lot of things online saying if you eat this kind of food, oh, you're going to get breast cancer. Please, let's what, try. What about uh, regular convenience food? Yes, so yeah, food, I don't see a relation to me. I've okay. d- due to um, studying and various research um, thing I've seen, I've not really pain like food with breast cancer. Okay. I could pain like using of some certain kind of products which can be toxic to your skin right. when you're using as your breast region. Actually, those that use product, I sell product online and saying that um, this will make your, your breast mm-hmm. to actually okay. go bigger. Breast yes. enhancement. Enhancement, exactly. I feel there's a linkage between that that can actually give one cause toxic to the to the breast and actually increase the chance of breast cancer. Okay? But um, I've also seen that people that live some form of unhealthy lifestyle have might i would say about five percent of people that have lived a very unhealthy lifestyle drinking of alcohol and all tend to have breast cancer but it is not seen often the most cause of breast cancer is mostly family history that causes it now there's some people that are exposed to some form of radiation okay that might tend to have like due to the exposure might tend to lead to breast cancer those are the most things that are often common that can lead to breast cancer all right if you're just joining us is breast cancer on health talk with bb this morning and if you want to ask dr obi any question concerning the breast area you can do that by calling us 0700 903 903 Zero seven hundred nine zero three nine zero three nine zero three. All right, Doctor B. Um, I'm not sure we're done with the symptoms. Yeah. Are there any physical symptoms that one yes, can see? Yes. Yes. Yeah. So basically, um, like I said earlier, on detect- detection of mass, um, on your breast when you feel it is mostly attached to the skin, and most often you don't feel pain. 
when you have that um please don't get scared if you have a mass and you're not feeling pain it might not be breast cancer i'm going to repeat it again okay now secondly notice that um there is but the sorry thing, sorry yeah. does the lump come with pains does it come with pain no it okay. doesn't when it comes to breast cancer there are other types of breast lumps that actually are painless okay okay so that's why i had to say that it's not every lump that is breast cancer now another thing notice that within the time there's skin changes around that place your skin shrinkers dried and then dimpling of the like a thin dimple yes. around the skin like uh, why is there a hole yeah why is that hole then you notice that the nipple area of the breast the nipple area of the breast see that it is inverted it goes inside and it brings discharge mostly bloody discharge now um there is a linkage with the breast when there is a form of inflammation in the breast there are things that are called the lymph nodes and these lymph nodes are found underneath your armpits okay. which are called the axillary region so you notice that there is form of swelling around there you know say, ah why is that i see this lump over time there are changes and then my my armpit area there's this big um lump there what is going on doctor that is actually a sign that one is having breast cancer yeah really yes that is a sign that is most uh, most of the signs and of course systemic changes you notice that you're vomiting um you notice that you're losing weight you know i've seen over the time that there are some women that have this you see that once your breast has never been like this one is bigger than the other and then you'll be like and eh, maybe i'm getting i'm getting fat and oh maybe when i was younger this breast started first started growing first that's why this one is looking bigger than that but no you notice that it is fixed all right let's take this yeah. call sorry hello good morning to you hello good morning beautiful morning to you what's in the where are you calling us from this is Osando from Okokoma. all right Osando, let's hear your question please i want to find out whether this breast cancer get each way person go reach before the person see get that breast cancer at the young girls to feed get them i want to beg thank you all right thank okay. you very much thank you. Do. thank you yeah it's very rare for you to see um young ladies having breast cancer it's very because they have high estrogen level which can doctor be, i want to ask you something yeah. is it because we are talking about breast cancer that your voice is reducing <laughs> You were so me, emotional this morning. To, do you want me to scream? <laughs> Hi, everybody. <laughs> okay, I'm going to... You know, to, breast cancer comes yes, with a lot of emotions. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's more common with women, and I even expect a lot of women to be colored, not men, but I like that. <laughs> anyway, the thing is that um, what he was saying that um, for younger ladies, it's very rare for you to see like a young lady having breast cancer okay yeah yeah uh, but um the thing is that um people of it's mostly seen with people of 50 and above mm -hmm. very rare with people in their 30s okay and it's still linking it doesn't mean when you're in your 50s you'll be like hey i'm going to have breast cancer oh no no it's still linking with family history okay it's still linking with family history so when you know that you have family history of this you are always having to go for your normal clinical checkup to be sure that okay there is no breast cancer and there is no anything lump or anything in your system okay yeah, yeah. all right um let's go to the available treatment options yeah if you notice you have lumps and they are they are the doctor said it's breast cancer mm -hmm. what are the available treatment options okay first of all once it's been detected um usually you no know, management is uh, so broad when it comes to breast cancer and we tend to identify how the lump is and all then we do some form of um, ultrasound investigation to know and to define the kind of uh, mass it is is it a cancerous mass or is it a non cancerous mass now there are some imaging that would not really define that this is actually cancer so we go for that to a higher resolution like MRI or CT scan okay this will tell us that this is cancerous then after Words, we um tend to like okay what is the degree of the spread of this cancer in the in the breast some people remove it depending on how the size is if it's quite small and it can be removed then you remove it total removal of that 
breast yes. entirely okay uh or secondly if it's if it's quite big we do um chemotherapy like radio radiotherapy and all radiation and all of that therapy in order to shrink the cancer or to avoid it spreading to other parts of the body because when spreading to other parts of the body is a form of complication we also do pharmacological therapy pharmacological therapy uh, we give some drugs that helps um in the spreading and the increasing the size of the um of the cancer so that's basically it all right um if one notices a breast cancer on yeah. one breast yeah can you go from one breast to another breast there are chances that it actually can reoccur in the other breast yes there are chances so so basically um there is a saying we say like you you in late detection and um increased rate of reoccurrence okay? okay so there's a rule that basically they detect it very late and there is always a chance of reoccurrence all the time yes so um when when they've removed one part of the breast it's always advisable like the oncologist that's the doctor that um treat cancer patient um will always tell them to actually come um for a routine checkup let's check the other breast giving with the degree of severity from of the other breast yeah Okay, you know, when breast cancer is mentioned, uh, mm. might I go to that sentence? Uh, right. Yeah, it's like I know, I know, I know, yeah. yes. I know doctors will say it's not, it's not a death sentence, but once it's mentioned, our mind goes to death. Yeah. All right. So now, how can we, as in, how do we manage someone who has breast cancer so the person doesn't always think about? I'm going to die. Yeah. This will happen to me and all yes. of that. Hopefully, if it's a case of it is not already complicated because I've seen many people that come to the hospital and it's already complicated. Like they just told me, I have just a lump in my breast. And I'm like, okay, no problem. It's fine. It doesn't mean it's cancerous. And then next thing I open it, I'm like, whoa, All I right, see. Sorry. Yeah. Let's take this. Hello, good morning to you. Hello. Good morning. Beautiful morning to you. What's your name and where are you calling us from? This is Patrick from Ikeja. All right, Patrick, let's hear your question. Please, I want to find out if uh, this cancer of 18 is curable. Because from what I've seen, I know two people, two women that suffered it, and they are left breast was cut off and they eventually died. And mm -hmm. it didn't make me to understand that once the person has this and it have, it gets to the point that the press will be cut off, that it will lead to death. So I don't know, is it that it cannot be cured? Once it starts, the person will die. I want to know, please. All right, thank you very much, Patrick. The Dr. B will answer your question. Thank you for that question. Yeah, um, first of all, to know that breast cancer is actually life-threatening, okay? Early detection of breast cancer leads for a better management plan, okay? Now, for the people that he said that had breast cancer, one side was removed and all, my assumption is that probably the time they detected the breast cancer is already really bad okay that led for them to actually totally remove one side of the breast now there is this something they say is called a medical term called metastasis metastasis means that the breast from its primary state of origin that it started is spread to neighboring organs now the breast is at the chest region the nearest most the nearest organ that is close to it is the lungs and we need lungs for breathing right imagine it's going through the bone and going to the lungs of course wow. even despite removal of it the the mass right complications has already occurred already that's the metastasis and there's nothing you can do than to just let the patient be and for you know, the patient's life has gone so i wouldn't say that there is a medicine that would just vanish it surgically okay there are actually there have actually been good um prognosis that shows that early detection removal of the cancer and then people live a good life okay good because of the early detection of the cancer okay but it does not mean that you're totally totally cured 
okay you still have to come for routine checkup some people are actually very lucky okay so there's no specific drug that say if i give you this pill every cancer in your body is gone you're never going to have it it's not i wouldn't say that yeah all right thank you very much dr v time is no longer on our side yes. in fact dr v, i think we'll do this some other time yes. we are not just done <laughs> we're not yet done we're not yet yes. done so we'll, we'll, we'll carry it over you know how it is yeah. we'll carry a particular topic over to another yeah. time yeah. all right Thank you very much, our callers who joined us. And for those who listened to us, thank you so much. And thank you so, so yeah, much, Dr. Obi, yeah. for coming <laughs> in to do justice to this topic. Yeah. It's been quite insightful, in-depth, and educating. Yeah. Thank you so much. We wish to have you some other yeah, time. You're welcome. I'm happy to be here always. Sure, yeah. sure, sure. Yeah. And that's how we come to the end of this program this morning, Health Talk with BV. And don't forget to join us same time next week as we bring another interesting topic your way. But if you have any questions regarding um, breast cancer and you wish to talk to Dr. Obi, please do reach us using our studio line and we'll get you across to Dr. Obi. And that's not the end of the program on VOP 90.3 FM. We are bringing you Business Roundtable with Peter Nosik exactly at 11 a.m. this morning. And at 12 noon, the world news at 12 comes your way. So don't go anywhere. Don't touch that dial. We'll be right back.